In this class, we are going to learn how we can move a mail or a message from one folder to another folder like from a draft folder to inbox folder or a subfolder within another folder with the help of Microsoft Graph API. I am here in the official documentation page by Microsoft on using Microsoft Graph REST APIs. From the table of content, we need to traverse to messages which is under mail and from there we need to click on this copy message. Here Microsoft has documented in detail how we can make use of this message API in order to copy a message from one folder to another folder. Now the most important thing to note over here is the permissions like in case of any other graph APIs we need to add the permissions to our app which has been registered in the Azure portal. We had seen in detail how we can create an application, how we can register our application in Azure portal, how we can generate client ID and secret and also we had seen how we can add those permissions at the app in Azure portal. So I'm making use of my personal outlook.com mail address. So I'm going to make use of this permission. Suppose if you are going to make use of your work or school account, then you can add accordingly. And if you are going for an application, then you can add. In this case, all the permissions for all the types is same. Now, if you scroll down, Microsoft has documented the various URLs which we can use as per our business requirement. There are a few headers. Authorization, obviously, this supports the OT 2.0 like any other graph APIs. And in the body, we should provide the destination ID. This is nothing but the folder's unique ID. Like we had seen every email in a mailbox is having a unique ID. Like that every folder in a mailbox like inbox, junk email, draft, sent items will be having their own unique ID that we need to populate over here while copying a message from one folder to another folder. Now, if you scroll down, there is a sample provided over here. HTTP method we need to use is post and here is the URL. So, at the end of this, we need to provide the ID of an email that is a message where what we get with the help of list messages like we had seen in our earlier classes. Please check out the class if you don't know how to get retrieve the ID and the properties of a message. We need to provide the ID for this draft email. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to copy this message from draft to inbox that is inbox 01, which is a subfolder of this inbox. So we need to populate the ID for that mail and the destination value. It will be the ID for this inbox underscore 01 folder. That's a unique ID. So without wasting much time, let's begin with our hands on. I'm here in the postman client. I have created the request over here, which will copy a message from one folder to another. Now with the help of list messages, as we had seen in our previous class, we will be getting a unique ID for a mail. Now this is the unique ID, which is for our draft mail, which I had shown earlier this class. Let me copy this from here. Go to copy message and paste after this messages over here that is between copy and the messages. Paste it over here. Now we need to provide the destination ID over here. Now you might get a question how we can retrieve the ID for a particular folder. Now in order to retrieve the ID for folder if you scroll down there is a section called as mail folder. Now if we click on this list mail folders if you make use of this graph API to list the mail folders and the permission and all you can just have a look at this. I will just straight away go to the sample over here. Here it will note all the parent level folders and their IDs. With the help of that list mail folders, we can retrieve the IDs for the parent folders only that is like inbox, junk email, draft, deleted items, archive, note, conversation for those things. So in order to make use of this inbox underscore 01, we need to make use of this list child folders. I will click on this. Now if you look at the sample request over here, here we need to provide the ID of a parent folder that is this one. After mail folders, if you just scroll up here, Microsoft has documented that is here the ID we should provide that is the parent folder ID. What we get with the help of this list mail folders. So in our case, this ID, what we have to paste over here after the mail folders, that is the ID of our inbox folder, that is this one. If we pass that inbox folders ID, we will be getting the ID for the child folder, that is with the help of this list child folders. Now let me show you from the Postman client. Here I have provided the URL as documented by Microsoft in list mail folders. Now in the response, if you see, I will just scroll this up. Here we will get the ID for the parent folders like the archive, conversation, deleted items, drafts and the inbox. If you have any other parent folder like junk email, the, those we will get. Now our focus of interest is inbox because we have created a subfolder within the inbox. 
suppose if you have created a subfolder within the draft sent item so and so forth then you have to consider the id for that particular parent folder now we need to copy this from here and paste it over here that is between the mail folders and the child folders if you click on send just make sure you populate the permissions over here appropriately then only you click send then only you will get the permission to get the id for the subfolders now if you just scroll down in the response here we will get the id for inbox 01 that is the folder what we have created over here within the inbox that is a subfolder or a child folder now we need to copy this from here go to our copy message and paste it in the destination id so that is what is mentioned over here under the messages if you go to copy message let me just scroll down so destination id in the sample it is the folders id unique id in this case we have seen how we can retrieve the unique id for a child folder that is inbox 01 once you populate the details just click on this send button we have got the response 201 created which means it has copied the message from drafts to inbox 01 now let me verify from the ui so we have this drafts it is intact because we are copying the message not moving the message now let me click on this inbox 01 yeah within the inbox we are having a message now if you see one it is showing as a draft because we have in a draft as well so it is showing as you know whenever we have a draft which is created within inbox or sent item it will show in their respective folder so this is the message we have copied and one is a draft pop-up what we get usually in the microsoft mailbox so like this with the help of copy message we can copy a message from one folder to another folder so suppose if you are having one message over here like you have created one inbox folder and then you have created a red email folder then after reading the messages you can just copy the message from here move to another folder and you can just delete the message from the inbox so that you can read only unread messages every time like if you are creating a bot which will pull the messages every five minutes it will read the messages and at the end it will just move the message or copy the message from inbox to another folder and delete the messages so deleting the messages we had seen in our earlier class please check out that class if you don't know how to delete a message with the help of draft api in our next class we will see how we can move a message from one folder to another folder so at that time we can just move this draft message from this folder to inbox 01 so i have demonstrated with the help of the draft message but you can use this to move any message within this mailbox like in the what we receive in the inbox or if we have sent the mail to someone and which is available in a sent item junk email all those things you can move and copy from one folder to another folder